we want to welcome everybody. Uh, we are so happy that everybody is here for us to celebrate Megan and Joel. I have thought about this day for a long time. And now that it has arrived, I am filled with many emotions. Joy for these two people starting a new chapter in their lives. A little sadness to realize my little girl has grown up. And lastly, overwhelmed by how quickly time goes by. It was shortly after nursing school when we noticed a change. Megan kept mentioning this guy. So I remember the day. We pull up to Shellville and I see this large truck with this oversized squad hanging out, hanging over the bed and out hops Joel. My first impression, folks, <laughs> this wasn't going to work. I mean, come on, Megan, camping and quadding. And I remember when I knew you guys were meant for one another, they show up with a brand new quad in the back of her truck. Or, and she, jumped, she jumps out of the truck, she's got a backwards hat on and Jordans and she throws an on the back of the quad, goes up and down the beach and uh, it was illegal to go over five miles an hour and you can't ride two people on the back. And so she ended up getting a ticket and right then I knew, I, I thought to myself, those two are meant for one another. It seems like days ago, I was trying to coach Megan in youth soccer. I say trying because Megan used soccer more as a social outlet than an athletic endeavor. We entered the year-end tournament and our team had not won a game. But when the, uh, the tournament started, something clicked with the team and they won every game and we won the Napa Cup. Yeah, yeah. Afterwards, I asked Megan, you know, what had changed? What, what, what worked? And I was hoping, you know, it was great coaching dad or, you know, your words of wisdom, dad. No, it wasn't anything like that. It was, hey, did you see those trophies? I knew I needed one, you know, as soon as uh, the tournament started. So that was the day I realized my little girl, when she set her mind to something, she was going to go out and achieve it. Funny enough that Mike mentioned Megan's soccer skills, because uh, surprisingly, uh, those are my first memories of Megan as well. Megan excels at many things in her life, obviously, but uh, athletics and sports, not so much, not so much. <laughs> you can truly look at Megan's friends, and they are a true reflection of her life and of the decisions and the different stages. All these women come from really different backgrounds, really different walks of life, and Megan has the ability to not only connect, but build really special bonds and friendships with each and every one of us. She listens, she's there for you. She is the most thoughtful, <laughs> genuine friend I think anyone can have. I love you with all my heart. But that is not what I think about when it comes to Megan. No, it is thinking about how my sweet little girl has grown up. She has grown up and become the caring, compassionate, and generous woman. Everyone in Megan's life knows that she is fiercely loyal and protective of the one she loves, especially her mother. She has that special gift that makes a person feel important. That is why I'm honored to be your father. I've known Joel for 25 years plus. Heck yeah, I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Thank he's you. a strong man, he's a, he's a tough son, son gun. And, He'd do anything for Megan or anybody that he loves, and I love you, Joel, and you've always had my back. Megan and Joel, they met five, six years ago. 
2010. It was uh, a nursing party, a Halloween nursing party. We all got together, and they've been uh, jet setting and traveling all over ever since. When I first met Megan, she's just she's always been a really kind, caring, down to earth, just super chill human being, like hitting the jackpot. You really are a solid woman. Enjoy, you're blessed. No way. Joel has won us over. He's a hard worker who is growing his own business, and he is a devoted family man. <laughs> Joel, I'm going to sort of give my daughter to you. And there's a song lyric that says, Always remember, there was nothing worth sharing like the love that let us share our name. Megan, I can truly say I'm the happiest I've ever been. I promise to always be faithful. I promise to always honor your dreams and aspirations. I promise to always cherish and take care of you. But above all, I promise to love you forever. I never would have thought that the young girl who was simply attending a Halloween dance, her life would change forever that night, and it definitely did. I look back at where we started and where these past few years have taken us, but I can honestly say I would not be the woman I am today if it weren't for the loving, strong, and loyal man standing in front of me. Thank you for always making me laugh, always encouraging me to be the best person that I can be, and always working so hard for our future. I know how precious this life is, and I don't know what the future holds for us, but what I do know is I will wake up each morning thanking God for sending me you because I couldn't imagine my life without you. That night, the young girls in the referee costume. I can't, I can't wait to see what our future holds. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It is so, don't you want to take the price tag on it? <laughs> it is so uh, new. It's got the price tag on it. I can't get it off. Now someone who's into details and she forgets this most... See, this will always be remembered at their wedding. Now, your most important gift is to share your life completely and truly and authentically with one another. That would be one of your uh, greatest gifts. Um, and to express your love genuinely, day in, day out, in the ups and the downs of life. And you gotta share your loves in small, simple, and beautiful ways. What you want is this harmony, this sharing of your lives, this kind of selfless giving to one another. You're gonna do that in your careers as a nurse, and Lord knows who you're trucking all over the world and what you will become. It's a mega company, that's your goal. But don't forget, you have a mega family and you have a mega relationship, so keep that in front of you, first of all. But I could tell right away, by the way he looked at her, that he loved her and would always love her. It's not the 
destination, it's the journey. And I've really learned that. <laughs> and live every day as if it was your last, because you never know when it's up. And love one another. So, time has gone by too fast. But that brings us to tonight. And we can now present Megan and Joel Griswold. Good <laughs> job.